Hey everyone, it is great to see you. Welcome to this week's devotional series. If you don't know me, my name's Adam. Me and my wife, we look after New to Faith in the Manchester campus. Over the next few weeks, we are going to be looking at the theme of this audacious life. We're going to be exploring what it means to live an audacious life and finding out more about who we follow. Let's kick off with a couple of Bible verses to start with. John chapter 10, verses 10 and 11, NIV. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. Amen. Praise Jesus. The next one is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, NIV version again. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Amen. Now, Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. And as a church, we are not looking at building a culture or lifestyle around an organization. We're building our lives and a culture around a kingdom and a king, Jesus. Like you just heard, Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. He was fearlessly devoted. He was fiercely determined. He was wildly authentic. And he was seriously fun. Seriously, seriously fun. Now, last week, we looked at what it's like to be fiercely determined. This week, we're going to look at the seriously fun aspect. And I'd encourage you to have a journal ready to answer some questions and jot down your thoughts as we listen to the Sunday sermons that are available on YouTube. Just head over to youtube.com forward slash Audacious Church and you'll find them all there. Let's make this next season one of our greatest yet as we learn more about what it is to live a life that follows Jesus. What it is to have fun And is having fun something a Christian should be doing? Should you be seen as the serious one? Is serious, seriousness, close to holiness? Did Jesus have fun or is he the stained glass window figure, never cracking a smile? Fun can be seen as frivolous, childish and immature. So we tend to tone things down so as to not be judged. But... The Bible says that Jesus came to give life to us and life to the full. That doesn't sound like toned down to me. And in Proverbs 17, verse 22, Solomon, the wisest man there ever was, even says a cheerful heart, a happy heart, is medicine to the body. Science has even proven that laughter, happiness, having fun, thinking about some good things is good for the mind, the body, and the soul. Science is finally catching up with the Bible. Today then, write down a few things that make you feel happy. Think about some good things and provide some medicine to your body. God bless you all, and we will see you tomorrow.